Habs get shark bit. Right here at Talking Habs with Rick, number one hockey channel. So um, before we get to that, please like, subscribe, ring the bell, and then I'll notify you of all my videos as they come out. Question of the night. Do you think Montreal would have won with Price and Nets tonight? So do you think Montreal would have won Price and Nets? You can leave a comment in the comment section. I read all my comments. And stay tuned to the end of this vid for my Habs three stars. So let's get right to it. So first off, Niami was in Nets. And uh, they they kept KK out. So basically didn't change the lineup except for uh, Price. Gave, they gave him a rest, which he needs. I just don't think this was the game to do it. But... Maybe there was a reason, we don't know. Uh, so uh, the teams feel each other out for the first about five minutes uh, before the pace starts to pick up a little bit. Um, Habs find their speed, and they get a few chances. There was a neutral zone turnover to Thomas Hurdle, who streaks in behind the net and scores on a wraparound. Uh, bad goal. Bad goal by Niemi. Uh It was at 6.54. It was Hurdle's 30th unassisted. Habs are holding their own so far with San Jose. Um, and then at 10, 10 minutes, another bad goal uh, by Niemi. Sorensen in close on a weak shot that gets through somehow on the short side. It was his 15th from LeBanc and Burns. A little after that, Habs putting good pressure on the Sharks. They're keeping it in like for a minute, almost a minute at a time. Even with the fourth line, they're getting their chances. Montreal out shooting the Sharks. Uh, I think it was. I'm not sure what it was, but they were out shooting it. 14 minutes in. Gallagher working hard and hits the post. Like working hard to get in close, gets a shot, and uh, he hits the post. Hab Skaters playing really good tonight. Uh, at 17:56, fourth line scores. Artsuri Lekkinen finally gets a, gets a goal. He deserves it. Uh, he he was uh, streaking in and at the sideboards about halfway to the blue li from the blue line in. Um, he he takes a shot, gets through Jones's legs for his first in 25 or so games. He deserves that goal. This kid works hard. So it was 17:56. Lekin in his eighth from Thompson and Kulak. So it was a good first period by Montreal. Save those two bad goals led up by uh, Niemi. Uh, if Montreal can keep fighting through and, and Niemi can hold the fort, Montreal has a chance here still. They're doing all the right things, so they just got to keep it up for 40 more minutes. Shots on goal, 17 for Montreal, 5 for San Jose. No power plays either side. Second period starts out, um, well, the Habs started the second the way they left off in the first, so they're doing good. Montreal doing a great job keeping the Sharks from shooting, keeping the shots down. Uh, Habs pressure creates a power play. It was high sticking to Simic at 5:15. Uh, so it was the first penalty of the game. Habs power play looks better, but still no goal. They get three shots. I think uh, they they look better though. It was better passing, um, just no goal. At 7:46, Thornton's backhand pass through the crease to Sorensen, at the side who was at the side of the net, but it, the pass beats Niemi. On his stick side, don't know how, his four, it was Thornton's 14th from LeBanc and Sorensen. And then at 15-18, the Habs score on a Byron shot. It was kind of a floater. It floated through like a changeup. Uh, and it went to Shaw, who kind of batted at it and tapped it in for his 17th. That was from Byron and Domi. So it was another good period by uh, Habs skaters. They just keep coming at the Sharks. Even if they lose tonight, they're proving they can play with the big teams uh, and hold their own. If Price were if Price were in net, this would be a totally different outcome or different uh, game at this point. So they're skating, they're passing, shooting, creating chances, sustaining pressure, trans transitioning quickly, and they're keeping themselves in the game. They're not relying on the goalie to keep them in the game. They're keeping themselves in this game. Shots on goal, 13 for Montreal, 10 for San Jose. Montreal for one on the power play. Third period, not as quick a pace to start third. Niemi looking better, though, early on. And then in saying that, Meyer gets uh, scores on a good pass from Donskoy in close. As Niemi was caught moving to his right, I, I think it's because he was thought Donskoy was going to shoot, so he kind of bought in, and he was sliding to his right. 
when the pass came and Meyer had an open net. Um, and it was his 24th, and like I said, from Donskoy. Um, not an exciting third period. Um, a lot of back and forth play, but nothing overly exciting, nothing really to write about. So we get to Niemi being pulled at 17.30 mark. Um, and then uh, I think with like a minute and change left, Nyquist in the, into the empty net. And it's 5-2 Sharks. And that's it. So it was a good overall game by Montreal. They can play with the big teams, and it should be a good character builder. And so next, uh, they're off to Anaheim tomorrow night, and uh, hopefully a better outcome. And I, I do believe a better outcome anyway. We'll see. Uh, that'll be my preview. Won't spoil it here. So if you stayed till the end, this is the end, and I'll give you my hats. Three stars. Third star, Lekkonen, for finally getting a goal. So he deserves a star for that. And... It was well well spread out, whatever offense or whatever chance was well spread out tonight. I, not too many stood out over anybody else. Two second star, Mete. Mete had a really good game. Uh, showed a lot of, um, I'm going to say diversity. I don't mean, that's not what I mean, but good on both ends of the puck. Uh, and first star, Byron. Uh, thought he had that goal uh, he, where he got an assist. But he was one of those players that also stood out. He was all over the place and had a lot of chances tonight. So he gets the first star. So there you go. There's my review of the game. Um, I hope it's better on the second take. Oh, you guys don't get to see the first take. I think it's better on the second take. So uh, please like, subscribe, ring the bell. Notify you about my videos. Question, uh, do you think Price would have won if he was in Nets tonight? Do you think Price, the game would have been different if Price was in Nets tonight? Uh, can leave a comment in the comment section, and I read all my comments, and I will respond. Thanks for watching, as always. Kitos. Uh, next game's tomorrow night in Anaheim, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time start. I'll be doing a preview and a review of that game. Check out. I'll put something up here. Hopefully, you'll uh, enjoy that. Check it out, please. And that's it. So, bye-bye. Navasti, and I'll see you tomorrow.